Hi guys, I just had a new comment on a very old video, one of my 2014 videos. Uh, in that video I'd been asked to put neodymium magnets on a existing motor to see if it made it any faster. Um, I don't actually remember whether it made much difference or not. I think it might have made it a little bit faster. Um, all I did was just put the magnets literally on the outside of the case. Now, one purpose of the case, as I understand it, is to help um, the magnetic field flow in the right direction. So adding neodymium magnets on the outside wasn't necessarily going to help, but I think it did. Anyway, that's not the subject, subject of the question. The subject of the question this time was... Can you take the um, ceramic magnets out of the case from inside and just put the neodymium magnets outside and see if it'd run off the neodymium magnets? Now, initially I was going to say, well, you know, go and try it yourself. And then I thought, well, actually, yeah, let's give it a try, see if it works. So this is just a random electric motor oh we better just demonstrate it works first so good old battery there there we are that's running so it's running off a one and a half volt battery so if we undo these tabs One little point, if you take the back off and put it back the wrong way round, the motor will go backwards compared to the way it went initially. So I'm looking there, those two little cutouts there are on the opposite side to that little cutout there. So when I put it back, I'll put it back the same way. Okay, what's the chances of actually getting those magnets out? First of all, I've got to try and get that off there. Can I just lever it up gently? Yeah, that's going to come up. Okay, so now we can pop that out. Now we can see if we can get those magnets out. They're held in, I don't know if you can see. Uh, let's put the light on. Right. There's actually a, a U-shaped spring there that's holding it in position. So if we can flick that out of the way, one way or the other, then the magnet should just drop out. Uh, or I could just try levering them out, I suppose. Oh, there we go. Right. So let's release that spring. Okay, so now they should come out. Okay, so that's our, I'm calling them ceramic. Uh, some people are calling them ferrite magnets, but anyway, they're out. Put that back in again this back in carefully get the brushes in place first yep okay so that's back in place push that back down right so if we put that on now nothing should happen oh let's put the gear back on again So, that on there, that on there, nothing happening. So now we want some neodymium magnets to see if we can replace that. I've got a little bunch of them here. So if we go three on one side. Three on the other. <laughs> oh, come on, never 
moving this, getting stuck to it because it's all magnetic. Is it's running or oh, it did? Yeah, it's running. Let me zoom in on that a bit. It's not running very well, but that is definitely running. Not running now. We running from the battery down by any chance? Oh come on! So the answer is yes, although it's not working very well. I will try a bit more power. lithium-ion battery here so we can give it uh, about four volts oh no doubt there probably hear it so there you go yes you can replace the uh, whatever we call them, ferrite or ceramic magnets with neon, uh, neon, neodymium magnets and we're going and I am running it on uh, 3.7 or 4.2 volts depending on how well charged that battery is yeah, what a great question, thanks for asking Fair bit of talk there as well. You know, I thought that the metal case might shield it. Well, it probably is a bit, but obviously not too much to stop it working. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.